Easter is a festival and holiday celebrated by millions of people around the world who honor the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, described in the New Testament as having occurred three days after his crucifixion. It's also the day that children excitedly wait for the Easter Bunny to arrive and deliver treats of chocolate eggs. But how can both of these very different things represent Easter? Ancient history has the answers, and it begins with a journey into the underworld. This is Ancient Origins, and today we'll be examining the surprising ancient roots of the Easter celebration. Subscribe for more fascinating historical videos like this one. How can Jesus' death and an egg-delivering rabbit go hand in hand? One theory is that the Easter story of crucifixion and resurrection is symbolic of rebirth and renewal, and it retells the cycle of the seasons and the death and return of the sun. According to some scholars, the Easter story comes from the Sumerian legend of Tammuz and his wife Ishtar, an epic myth called the Descent of Inanna found inscribed in cuneiform clay tablets dating back to 2100 BC. When Tammuz dies, Inanna is grief-stricken and follows him to the underworld. She passes through seven gates where she is judged, killed, and then hung on display. In her absence, the earth loses its fertility, crops cease to grow, and animals stop reproducing. Unless something is done, all life on Earth will end. After Inanna has been missing for three days, her assistant goes to the other gods for help. The gods resurrect Tammuz and Inanna, giving them the power to return to the Earth as the light of the sun, giving the ancients the cycles of winter death and spring life. This is just one of a number of accounts of dying and rising gods that represent the cycle of the seasons and the stars. This legend parallels the resurrection of Jesus with the Christian belief that God raised Jesus from the dead after his crucifixion. After his death, his body was hastily placed in a tomb and sealed up with a large, heavy stone. Mary Magdalene and several other women returned to the tomb two days later to prepare Jesus' body with spices and ointments according to Jewish custom. When they arrived, they found the large stone had been pushed aside. The tomb was open and his body was gone. Jesus thus resurrected, appeared to them, and it's believed his resurrection was the beginning of Christianity, and this story is now observed around the world. But where does the Easter Bunny come into this? It could have been that Easter was originally a celebration of Esther, or Ostara, goddess of spring. One of the most revered aspects of Ostara is the spirit of renewal. Celebrated at spring equinox on March 21st, Ostara marks the day when light is equal to darkness and will continue to grow. As the bringer of light after a long dark winter, the goddess was often depicted with the hare, an animal that represents the arrival of spring as well as the fertility of the season. This imagery is seen across belief systems. In Germanic pagan myth, there is a legend that the goddess healed a wounded bird by transforming it into a rabbit. Still a bird in nature, however, the rabbit would show its undying gratitude by laying eggs as gifts. Thus, the origin of the Ostera rabbit, or Easter bunny, was born. In Christian art, white rabbits and hares are often used to symbolize fertility, virginity, and innocence, particularly regarding Mary and the virgin birth. This is a surprising connection, considering the rabbit's association with rampant sexual escapades, hence the expression, breeding like rabbits. But it turns out that due to their biology, hares have the almost miraculous ability to become pregnant with a second litter of babies while still pregnant with the first. The egg is an almost universal symbol of new life. To the ancient Egyptians, the egg symbolized the sun and shining light, while for the Mesopotamians, the egg represented the birth of Ishtar. The ancient Persians had also the custom of coloring and eating eggs during their spring festival. For the early Christians, the egg was a fitting symbol of Jesus' resurrection, a container full of life which stands empty when cracked open, like his tomb. People now enjoy chocolate as delivered by a mysterious rabbit over Easter. This is a more modern tradition which is said to come from German immigrants to the United States. By the end of the 19th century, shops were selling rabbit-shaped candies at Easter, which later became the chocolate bunnies we have today. And children were being told the story of a rabbit that delivers baskets of eggs, chocolate, and other treats. Easter truly means something to everyone, as a time to observe old traditions, celebrate the rebirth of sunshine and the springtime, and to remember that life can triumph over death. For more intriguing historical articles, follow the link below to our Ancient Origins website. Subscribe for more fascinating historical videos like this one. 
As always, thanks for watching.